how to create a dynamic pattern design like this in Affinity Photo. Super quick, super easy. Go to the Tools panel and select the Rectangle tool. Click the document and drag to create a square using the Shift key. So once you've got that, go to Select and Selection from Layer. That creates a selection around that black shape. Then go to Filters and down to Colors and down to Procedural Texture. Now I'm going to place an equation in this. So what you need to do, create the equation in the first place, click the plus just there. Then go up here and paste in this equation, OSC, sin, and then brackets. You've got a square root there, Rx times Rx plus Ry times Ry. And you've also got a C there, so you need to add a custom input. So just go down here to Z, and then I'm just going to quickly add a C. And I'm going to enter a value for it, so 25. And it creates that. It creates a nice circular design, which you can modify in many different ways if you want. You can also go over here, and you can put, instead of Rx times Rx, you can put 1 minus Rx times it. And that creates this sort of weird sort of hourglass effect. Well, what you can also do is click there, click there to get green if you want, or blue. But you can also click there for an alpha channel, so you get this effect. So with A there, selected, and this equation, so it's OSC sin, and then like say square root, but I put a one minus Rx in there. And you can also modify this if you want it, you want it say 50, you can create an effect like that. And click apply. So that's all you need to do for that. And select and deselect, don't need the selection anymore. But what you can now do, click over here, move tool, press return or enter on the keyboard, or you can simply just duplicate it normally, but it brings up this, and you can then enter 90. So it just rotates it like that, but also click duplicate. So you get a design like that, and then click OK. Well, with that, you can set both of them. So again, over here, you can see now in the layers, you've got both selected. You can group that, so right click, and down to group. So it's grouped, and then right click, and down here to rasterize. Now, if the selection is not exactly what you want, you can always go over here and use maybe this, the rectangle marquee tool to select different parts. You can select that for your design, or another part like that, up to you. But what you can also do is you can just simply select the whole thing. Make sure you've got the move tool selected there. And with that, go up to layer, a new pattern layer from selection. And you could use that, like say the selections, with this as well. So new pattern layer from selection, and you get this design. Now I'm gonna remove this one. So simply delete it, press the delete key on the keyboard, and it's gone. And you've got your pattern there. And you can resize it. You can also rotate it, so you can create a variety of different designs that way. Of course you can scale it. You can also apply effects as well. You can also, because it's got the alpha channel, hold down the Alter Option key, that's on the keyboard, and drag. And you can see then you create this sort of effect. And you can just move it around, rotate it, again, create different sort of unusual patterns that way. Or maybe resize it, create patterns that way. 